morning, it's Patsy and I want to show you a new deck that I received today. It's the Queen Mab Oracle by Tess Whitehurst, Divine Feminine Wisdom from the Queen of the Fae. That's what it says in the front, that's the front of the box. There's the back and it says, your answers are on their way to you on the wings of an endless midsummer's night. Something blessed this way comes, powered by the earth, the wind, and the divine radiance of the fairy queen. Ancient and powerful, Queen Mab is an elemental emissary of charm, moonlight, and manifestation. Turn to her for meaning, revelation, and insight into the poetry and empowerment at play within all that is and all you shall become. It's 45 cards and a 160-page full-colour guidebook, the artwork is Melanie Dillon and Cecilia GF. So this I ordered from the Wonder Emporium and um, it arrived well packaged like she, she does. And it was really lovely packaging and um, it's a gorgeous deck. So I shall be ordering more from Cheryl over at the Emporium, Wonder Emporium, I should say. So this is a Blue Angel deck. There's your book, it's a chunky book. And at the front it says, enter the realm of the fairy queen. And you have got the contents, which is always good to get a contents page, easy to find. A note from the author, you can see that stunning artwork. Um, the wisdom of each card, in each card description comes directly from Queen Mab. The Fairy Queen, of course, I, Tess, wrote it down, while the card titles are exclusively phrases that appear somewhere in Shakespeare's work. The messages contain phrasing and language that I ultimately chose that sounded right to me. And while they are not without elements of my own beliefs and experiences, fundamentally, I would describe the wisdom as coming through me, not from me. It was a wave of energy that I did my best to feel, understand and translate onto the page. And then she says, let me give you some history of my relationship with Queen Mab. And then she goes on to describe that. How to prepare your deck. How to do a reading with the Queen Mab. And there's a three card um, spread there. It's just a three card reading, a one card reading, that's it. Um, a weekly or daily reading and then we go on to the cards so that's what you get in the book and for the cards you get you get a full page there in a bit and a little bit over the page so nearly two pages so I think that's about the artist at the back about the author and then just some adverts for some of the decks that you can buy. And then there's a little bit of the back to put notes. So that's what you get in the book. So let's have a look at the cards. The inside of the box is just a plain orange in the lid as well. It is that gorgeous card stock that Blue Angel do matte. That's the back. Gorgeous backs. There's no edging or anything. So we'll have a look at the cards and then at the end I'll pull a card and then I'll read some of the book to show you what you get. So herein lives wisdom is number one. Protector of the realm. Renew thy force is number three. The Sacred Radiance. Listen to the Moon. It's gorgeous. Killed with a living, living death. Chains around her there. Wild Watery Sea. This is the next one. The Wrath of Love. Darkness as a Bride. Don't know if you can see that, but she's caught up in a web. There's a web around her that she seems to be caught up in. 
Make not your thoughts your prisons. The Rose of Youth. Strange Invisible Perfume, number 12. A Most Prosperous Perfection, it's number 13. A Winged Messenger. Love, lend me your wings. Queen of Queens. The I Will Love. Proud and Pitiless. Proud and Pitiless, that one, and that's obviously the cover of the box. There is my pledge. The artwork is stunning. Thou art a witch. Heart is bleeding. Oh, I think it's two stuck together there. Yeah. The spirits we risk. The spirits risk. <coughs> Excuse me. Beauteous freedom. Spangled starlight sheen. Angelic friend. Oh, she's a bit dark. Looks like there's uh, blood around her mouth and her shoulders. But that is angelic friend. As destiny decrees is the next one. Flower of warriors. These violent delights. It's a mermaid in a shipwreck there. A queen in bondage is the next one. A vision full of ma of majestic majesty. Yeah, a vision full of majesty. The falcon's flight. Roses have thorns. Something rich and strange. A dream of love. I probably would have liked to have seen a keyword under these because the titles are not giving you much. Um, everlasting farewell. Extremity of Rage. Welcome Dread Fury. Nudity. The Sea Maid's Music. A bit more nudity, but not as full on. Her Pale Fire is number 39. Love All, Trust the Foo. Is number 40. The, the forgeries of jealousy. Venus in the sky. Raging fire of fever. Follow darkness like a dream. And then the last one is dive into the fire at number four, 45. So dive into the fire and there's the backs again. So yeah, so the artwork is simply gorgeous. Um, I would have probably preferred a keyword of some description um, on there because the actual titles 
um, even though it's kind of gives you an idea of what the card's about, it's not particularly clear, I don't think. And But I do have other oracles where I do have to look at the book um, to get my message. And sometimes I like that. I like to dig deep into a message and will use the guidebook. So it's not a problem. It's not a deal breaker with me. It's just sometimes it makes it easier if you get um, a keyword on there to work with. Lovely to shuffle, but then this card stock from Blue Angel is a bit big in my hand to, to kind of, but then a lot of oracles are, so I tend to um, shuffle lengthways rather than try to get them in my hand. So let's have a card for today and we'll go into the book and we'll kind of see what sort of message that you get so, for a message. First, who's watching? Have a look. We'll go there. And we got the extremity of rage number 36. So let's see who the, they are numbered in the book as well, so it's easy to so feel your anger. That is the message. Rage, see that would have been good if it was underneath, wouldn't it? You know, feel your anger, you get a lot more from that. But rage is only shameful if you think it is so. In its way, it can rush through you like beauty or pleasure, much like the sparkle of a killing frost or the roar of a wildfire. Human teachers, teachings that place emotions on a spectrum of bad to good are ridiculous. Much like your pretty declarations that one day's weather passes muster while another is dreary, nasty or simply should not be. How pathetic is it to rail against such forces of nature rather than making the most of them and learning to channel the unique beauty and magic. I think turn over the page. If you try pulling back from an emotion, it is like pulling back an arrow in a bow. Your attempt at best will postpone its expression while all the while increasing its momentum and range. Instead, locate and identify your rage. Where is it? Why are you angry? And at whom? It is even possible that you are feeling something akin to hate. Do not hold back. Admitting your feelings to yourself, even your revenge fantasies, hurts no one. And without acknowledging that you hold them, you can never let them go, let alone channel them towards creating positive change. If you have been trained to believe that nice people don't feel rage, or rage is toxic, and will cause grievous harm to you and others, waste no time in throwing off the yoke of emotional oppression. These teachings are delusional and naive and are designed to keep you from knowing yourself truly, which in turn will help you from your power, will keep you from your power, sorry. For example, when you are mistreated, it is natural to feel rage and in an and eventually, in order to properly heal and move on, you must admit those feelings and allow them to flow. Without rage, citizens would never rise up against dictators or take the steps necessary to alleviate social injustice. Many a legendary career was chosen out of rage at the existing state of affairs. Even when your rage might be considered disproportionate or inappropriate, it must be felt before you can channel its wisdom and eventually let it go. Sometimes the healthiest thing for a forest is to burn. Once you are clear on exactly how you feel, simply feel it. Punch your pillar if you need to. Cry. Go somewhere where you can yell and scream. Dance to music that mirrors your feelings. Create art or talk to a friend or support a person who you can trust. Then decide that you want what you want to do next. Make a plan and take care that it's an ethical one with everyone's best interest in mind. Be advised that minimising or sugarcoating your feelings will rarely be in everyone's best interest. Let your rage lead you to your cor courageous determination and act on it. So that's what you get in the book for each card. And... 
the images are gorgeous. Like I said, I do wish there was that little keyword there because you do seem to get one in the book. Um, but yeah, it's a lovely deck. I'm looking forward to using this. So that is the Queen Mab Oracle by Tess Whitehurst. Um, if you have this deck, you'll have to let me know or let me know what you think of it. Um, I think I'm going to enjoy this deck and I will see you all again soon. Bye for now.